everyone, and welcome to week four of LPW Lucky Lockdown. And this opening match is a tag team match. Scheduled for one fall, and as a qualifying match to see who will face the heavy hitters this Sunday at Mayhem. We have the team of Flip Gordon and Christian Casanova going up against the legendary Road Warriors, Animal and Hawk. And apparently tonight, Flip Gordon and Christian Casanova want to be known as Flipanova Inc. This team faces the heavy hitters Sunday at Mayhem to figure out who will become the first ever LPW Lockdown Tag Team Champions. out to other partners he's teamed with in the past, he realized that to take on a legendary team like the Road Warriors, he would need a mercenary. And I think that is why he has enlisted the services of Flip Gordon. The first LPW match I ever saw was Flip Gordon, accompanied by Ashley Mason, to take on Todd Sobel. I mean, this match has so much potential. So yes, the Road Warriors being here, I know what you're thinking. This means anyone could really show up on Lucky Lockdown and it's pay-per-views? Yes. Anyone can show up. But the team of Flippanova Although has not been paired together as long as the Road Warriors could still be a very dark horse team and could pull off the upset against a well revered team like the Road Warriors. See, it's tandem teamwork like that that can give these two the advantage. But the experience that the Road Warriors has could far surpass this new formed faction between Flip Gordon and Casanova. But you wouldn't see a match like this anywhere else except for LPW Lucky Lockdown. LPW is about experiencing the difference, while LPW Lucky Lockdown is about experiencing the digital difference. Hawk going into the tag. I mean, this match could go. I imagine most of you anticipate the Road Warriors picking up the win. Very well, Hawk is a great possibility. Um, but the two young, talented performers in Flip Gordon and Trish Casanova, that speed and just stamina, could be exactly what they need to take this match and go on to face the heavy hitters. But with the raw strength and just straight up toughness of the Road Warriors and the grizzled experience, I mean, 
it's a it's a very tough call. I mean, there's strengths and weaknesses in both teams. I think we're going to see a lot of that in this match here tonight. And in other news, Marcos Pitbull had won a battle royal several weeks back that was not filmed. However, there was pictures taken and posted about on Instagram. Winning that eight-man battle royal has earned him an Opportunity Knox contract. So, Marcos Pitbull will be using his Opportunity Knox contract this Sunday at Mayhem. But this is not a typical Opportunity Knox contract. This just lets you choose your opponent for the next show. You cannot challenge for a title. But Marcos Pitbull has chosen his opponent. And that will be Vern by Cal. Because Due to Vern beating him in the lockdown tournament and then winning a triple threat match involving Dominic Dijakovic last week, but Marcos Pitbull was never pinned. Marcos Pitbull, not only can he make the match he wants, not only can he challenge whoever he wants, he can choose the special stipulation. And the stipulation chosen is the Fitchburg Barrio Street Fight. And that will be this Sunday at Mayhem. Oddly enough, these two men will be in tag team action later again, uh, later tonight, on opposing sides. Vern will pick, Vern will have a partner, and then Marcos will have a partner. And this just, this just in, breaking news. You wanted him, now you're going to get him. This Sunday, at Mayhem, Retro, Anthony Green will be making his LPW Lucky Lockdown debut at Mayhem. And... He is going to be facing the Walking Riot, Kellen Thomas, for the LPW Lucky Lockdown World Heavyweight Championship. Wow. That was a match I was not expecting. So, so far, we have... Burn by Calo versus Marcos Pitbull in a Fitchburg Barrio street fight. And we have Retro Anthony Green challenging the walking riot Kellen Thomas. And a lucky lockdown heavyweight championship. And the heavy hitters will challenge the winner of this team to become the first ever lockdown tag team champion. And Diana Perrazzo will be challenging Alicia Edwards for the LPW Lockdown Women's Cha LPW Lockdown Women's Championship. I mean, that's half. That's four matches announced. And the Hard Knocks Championship will be determined tonight. That's right. right. 
two people will face each other tonight for the Hard Knocks Championship. Who? Oh wait, I'm being told, no, the Hard Knocks Champion will be discovered Sunday. Nova will be facing the heavy hitters this Sunday at Mayhem. That, I, I believe, would be the... I think that is the upset of the night. Wow. And there we are, 100%. with his partner versus Marcos Pitbull and his partner. Let's see who they picked. Looks like Marcos has picked the kingpin, brawler, Brian Malonis. Whatever you want to call him. But either way, he's got Malonis. And from the looks of it, Looks like Burn by Callow picked the one man band, Heath Slater. No, Heath Slater's never yeah. show up at LPW, but it is it could someday happen, but it might not. Who knows? Yeah. I think he'd be a great fit, and I think the LPW fans would love to see him. Heat's got kids. He needs to work at LPW. Looks like Heath and Vern have established a pretty good chemistry right off the bat. Oh. Say the size and strength advantage goes to the team of Marcos and Malonis. Where I guess the team known as the Hmm. Well, the 
team of Slater and Vitale. week with that submission. But, I mean, this match, a lot of people would say, you know, these guys, could, you know, Vern and Heath Slater, no, I apologize, Vern and Marcos Pitbull are going to be in a Fitchburg Barrio Street fight in just three days. And here they are, go at it, yeah. and more importantly, you know, what are they going to leave in the ring here tonight, and are they going to be at that much of a disadvantage yeah. when they go into mayhem, and in a street fight, you should be more than 100%, you got to be 110% minimum, and what, I don't know what the difference yeah. is with the Fitchburg Barrio street fight, but I guess we'll find out Sunday. I mean, you gotta imagine that winning this match would be a serious psychological factor going into Mayhem on Sunday, and winning that could secure the Fitchburg Barrio Street Fight. Victory, because, like I said, you know, winning that, winning this tag match, especially if it were, hypothetically speaking, Vern Vicalo pinning Marcos, you got to imagine, Vern has a little bit of a psychological advantage going in. But the, the, yeah. the roles could be reversed if Marcos were to, say, pin Vern in this match. I mean, Marcos has already got somewhat of a psychological advantage. Oh, I don't think Tony S. saw that. Yeah. Oh, good teamwork there from... By Callow and Slater. Now he, oh, goes for a nice shoulder tackle. Fred going against the ropes. I think that was a fist drop. Oh, Malonis isn't going to be dealing with this anymore. Here comes Marcos Pitbull. Nope. Marcos' style isn't traditional. He is a, you know, he comes from San Juan, Puerto Rico originally. And he practices the traditional Puerto Rican pro wrestling style, which, you know, England, there's a lot of grappling and submission. Japanese, it's very martial arts, strong style. United States pro wrestling is, you know, it is what it is. But when you look in the pro wrestling style they have in Puerto Rico, you know, names like Carlos Colon, Bruiser Brody, you know, a lot of those were just straight up fights. And I think that's partially what we're going to see in this Fitchburg Barrio street fight between Vern Vicalo and Marcos Pitbull. Marcos Pitbull is a man to not be taken lightly. And, you know, he has fought his way to get into LPW. And he is going to fight even harder to stay there. And he has gone after one of LPW's biggest heroes here on Lockdown. And with that being said, I mean, he is going to make a, he is trying to make a serious statement with Vern Vicar. Because one of LPW's biggest heroes has always been 
viciously delicious burn by Cat. There are so many obstacles he has overcome. But now, this Sunday, he goes into the first ever Fitchburg Barrio Street. And hopefully we can get his thoughts before the, before the event. And it would also be interesting to know Marcos' thoughts going in this match. Oh, I've been informed that there will be a title defense tonight. Shay Cash will be defending his lockdown championship tonight against Tommaso Ciampa. I guess the winner of last week's match between him and Maven was to qualify, was to figure out that challenger for this week. Oh, and I'm being told that match is our main event. teamwork and strength from Slater and Vitaly. And they're not done yet. Oh, but Malonis turns the tide. Oh, well, he's going for that swing boat. Oh. And Heat Slater saves it for his team. Now Marcos going after him. Burn. Now Burn trying to get hits that belly to belly. Tags in Heath Slater. No! Slater with that elbow drop. Burn looks to go to the top, but he changed his mind at the last second. Now he, he, he Slater is the legal man. And then punch. He's going up top. Oh, fist drop. But he's too close to Malonis' corner, which could lead to the tag, and more importantly, put Heath Slater in a dangerous position. Because if they keep him isolated in their corner, it's only a matter of time before they get the win. Oh, close on like that, it might not take much longer. Oh, nice one-man flapjack from the one-man band. And he goes in, he tags in the viciously delicious one. Now Vern is going, oh, they are just, we are going to see a lot of that Sunday, and I imagine it's going to get a lot uglier than this. Device. Now they're going back on it. 
Oh, flubbing blow to the back. Oh, that looks like a little bit of a low blow, but I'm not sure. And there might be a lot of ugliness like that in a street fight. I mean, I live here in Pittsburgh, and I know what the streets of Pittsburgh can be like at times. So if there's anything like that brought into that match, that match might not be for the faint at heart. You might want to close your eyes for that. And also there will be a battle royal Sunday. Oh! Pete yeah. Slater with the submission on Brian Malonis. I think that, you know, with Casanova and Flip beating the Road Warriors and then this, a modified figure four took out Brian Malonis. Wow. Heath Slater has definitely shown he is not to be taken lightly ever since being let go by WWE. Up next, Alicia Edwards is in action in a non-title match. Against Daphne. People have known that she's been around often enough lately. But it will be interesting to see if she has any ring rust or not. So far, she's looking really good against the LPW Women's Champion, Alicia Edwards. this for Daphne would definitely put her at the top of the list to challenge for the championship. Whether that champion remains to be Alicia Edwards or it becomes Deanna Perrazzo this Sunday at Mayhem. seen from her. Um, you know, perhaps it's being in the green and black ring really brings out that. It seems to really bring out the best in people. Oh, that looks a little <laughs> south of the border.
like to say that maybe next week she gets a shot against the winner of Mayhem's title match. Here it is, your main event. Shay Cash versus Tommaso Ciampa. Now we know who Shay Cash will be facing Sunday at Mayhem. He'll be teaming with Frank Champion to take on Christian Casanova and Flip Gold. Will he have double gold by the end? of the week, only time will tell. And Tommaso Ciampa has decided to come around. It's in one of LPW's earlier shows. Oh, well, anything goes in a lucky lockdown match. There are no weapons in this particular one. Doesn't mean it won't get brutal in there. But you gotta imagine going into this kind of match just days before a tag team championship match. You gotta imagine You gotta imagine more or less. pressure that's going to put on his tag match, and do you think that Frank will be relied on more heavily during this match? Will Shea be 100%? And if he loses the championship here tonight, will he be mentally able to perform? Knowing he lost his champ his lockdown championship just days before challenging for the tag team championship. We don't know the kind of effect this will have. But we don't know what kind of effect this is having on him at the moment. You gotta imagine this is one of the more difficult things. Because he has a lot riding on this match and on Sundays. But if I know anyone, and if anyone's tough enough to, to go through the, to get through this and probably take those tag titles Sunday, it's Shay Cash. Whoa.
We have a new lockdown champion for Blackheart, Tommaso Ciampa. How will this affect Shea going, sun going into Sunday against Casanova and Flip? Wow, we have seen the first title change here in Lucky Lockdown with a 100% match evaluation for a main event. Wow, I cannot wait for mayhem. Stay tuned for next week's episode. And don't let the luck run out.